Well, she's back. <laughs> so, what we're going to read on now, I don't even want to read on this. This is about, is he going to get us in a war? We all know he's trying to. Doing his damnedest. And what's this shit that now we, we can't do anything? He has to, he's always talking about how strong he is and how powerful he is and manly and in charge of everything, but he has to call the Saudis to see what to do about somebody bombing their oil fields instead of calling our allies, instead of calling... The Saudis are not our allies. So, I mean, he is a total freaking idiot. And uh, if any other president had ever said anything like that, that's all it would have been on the news all night tonight. But no, he does so much shit they can't even keep up with him. It's like he's just eating as fast as he can and crapping it out and smearing it all over the walls. He's a terrible person. He's a terrible person. And I, don't, I think he's... Attracted, they say like attracts like, and he has attracted some of the most terrible people in the world, especially in our United States, to hang out around him and be in his cabinet. And it may sound stupid. Somebody wanted me to do a reading on Kellyanne and her husband and see what's going on. Well, it doesn't matter if she doesn't approve of what he's doing. That's like going out and slitting somebody's throat every night for three and a half years or three years and then saying, well, I didn't really approve of doing it. I didn't approve of him doing it. And I didn't approve of me going out and trying to say he wasn't doing it. So I'm a good girl because really I didn't like this shit. I don't. The lady is. They're all freaking nutcases. It. You know, I was married to abusive husband. I've had three husbands. And a couple of them were pretty abusive. At least verbally. And it, the way they're acted in Washington and what's going on reminds me of when I was in those abusive relationships. Because it's like Like I'd have a husband that would be throwing a fit for three hours, and this is no lie. In fact, one night I even had to get my son and go get a hotel because of this. Because there was an empty Diet Coke can in the bathroom trash. And you, you weren't supposed to put garbage in the bathroom trash. And this person had been act literally yelling and, you know, doing the whole abusive bit that, that verbal abusers do. And this kind of reminds me of what's going on in in Washington right now. I feel like the, and I'm sure all the rest of you do too, feel like the abused wife or the abused child. It's like, that's what verbal abusers do or, or even physical abusers because I've dealt a little bit with that over the years. Is after it's over, they look you right in the face and say, well, I never did that. Are you sure? No, I, I wouldn't, no. I didn't do that. You, your mistake. And, and you almost, you find yourself questioning in your own mind. And you know better. I mean, you can even record it and listen to it the next day. You couldn't never get the person to listen to it because they don't want to listen to it because they know what they're doing when they're doing it. But anyway, this is what this whole... All this stuff going in, in Washington reminds me of. They're doing that to the whole United States. Anybody that stands for right and stands for people not lying every two seconds, uh, it's like, a, well, it's gaslighting. So it's just totally trying to show them, you know, what they're, anyway. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's do this real quick. I don't even want to do this. I'm trying to stop from doing it. I've been afraid of this ever since 
that was the first thing out of my mouth two days after he got elected. As soon as he got in trouble, he was going to start a freaking war. And I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I didn't say he was going to start, but I said, well, I figured he'd start one. Let's let's hope they don't let him. Let's hope that he, somebody comes in with some guardrails around this idiot. Well, we got the hero plant. We got government on the bottom. So is that the Congress and the Senate stopping him from doing this on his own? Or really doing an investigation into what's really going on before he starts throwing stuff out of there? Well, I think it might be Iran. He didn't even, he couldn't even, whatever. I don't even want to go there. The man's such a freaking liar. Okay, so we're going to go... The bottom card is a hero plant, so it shows that maybe government will work. And what's crossing over the top of that is the Queen of Swords. So I think that's Donald Trump. I think he's such a wuss that sometimes he comes through as the Queen of Swords instead of the... Well, I hope I'm wrong. I hope that's, I hope that's Nancy Pelosi. Hope it's Nancy Pelosi. I don't know. But um got the hero plan on the bottom. And the influence and obstacle is the Queen of Swords. So right now I'm going to say that this is Nancy Pelosi. Not that I can see her stopping any freaking thing. I can't see her opening her mouth and saying a whole sentence without blah, blah, blah. And here she used to be my hero. Anyway, uh, um, I'll probably get in trouble for that, but I can't help it. I just have to forgive me tonight. <laughs> and so, the base of this is spinning. Spinning lies. It's upside down. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Many in lies. He's probably called all the people that run all the bases and have all the money invested and the ones like are building those prisons for those poor children and families coming over from the border probably tell them oh wow we're going to make a bunch more money now this is what we're going to do this is my gel card It probably won't be Donald Trump. But if he does end up going to war over this, somebody's going to end up in jail for this. Somebody's going to literally end up doing time for this when the truth comes out about all this stuff. And of course, the truth is, the minute he got rid of the Iran deal, we knew this was going to happen. Everybody with a brain in their head knew it was going to happen. That's where he was going. That's why he got rid of it to start with. A lot of it was undoing everything Obama done, but not all of it. A lot of it was just uh, because there's a, we all think he's mad, but there's a method to his madness. And the present now, he, if he starts this war, it's just going to be good to take the heat off his family. That's all it is. We got the six of cups here. It's going to be just to take the heat off his own freaking family that he would probably have thousands and thousands of our troops killed. And this is Dirty Dale's being made. It's upside down. It's dark money. Like I said, he's already calling the people. It's going to make all the money off this war if he starts it to... See if they're going to back him if he pushes it through. Dark money. His self and what's going on with him is he's thinking that he can get all the Republicans behind him on this thinking that he's going to just put enough bullshit out where he's going to think that the, 
that he's protecting them instead of starting World War III probably. But that's just in his head. I don't think anybody wants a war with Iran. Not anybody with a brain in their head. I got the emperor here. He thinks he's going to be able to make this decision on his own. He don't think he's going to get blocked. He thinks he can go right through with it. The people that are around him are even telling him he can do it on his own. And he's making a deal with the Saudis. This is a deal. This is the Two of Cups. And I feel... I feel bad about this. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I hope these cards are all wrong. But I think that he's making a deal with the Saudis. I don't know how they could have anybody masses of people any poorer than they've got now. I mean, I know they could here. I've seen it in other countries. But how happy are these guys going to be living in their towers with just everything under them just being poor people? Maybe they, maybe once they get there, they'll just kill everybody off. Um, except the people have to do just their work for them, just enough to keep them going. Maybe that's a plan, but there's some kind of plan going on here. I don't know what in the hell it is, but there's some kind of plan. And uh, well, this is really good. The future card is victory. And you know there's no victory if they start this war, so maybe they'll go right up to the edge and back off. God, let's hope so. Let's hope that's what's going on. That's the outcome, is victory. And this is a people's victory card. It's also a uh, victory for war, but but it's but we know there's no there's no victory in war anymore. Not in, there never there never was where there's killing involved. But anyway, we know that this isn't for a war. So let's hope this is for the people. Let's hope they stop him and let's hope that they I hope they put a lasso around him. Preferably, I'm not going to say where. But anyway, I love you all for watching. I love you all for listening to me. And hope I didn't bore you to death. And uh, just want to thank everybody for helping with the channel and making me feel better and the replies and the comments. And uh, just love you all. Bye-bye now.